What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Sean and welcome back to another video and today we're doing a q and A. I promised this q and A probably about 10 days ago, something like that anyway. I asked you guys on Facebook, ask me some questions, I'm going to do another q and A. I enjoyed the first two I think I've done, I've done three, I don't know, I can't remember, I think I've done two. But you guys are awesome, you were straight in there with some really good questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick some of these questions, it was quite a lot. I don't know if I want to make this video really long and just answer every single one. Or pick just some random ones. I'm not sure yet. We'll see in this video. If your name is in there, guys, thumbs up the video. Straight off the bat. If you see your name, you've got to thumb it up. Simple as that. That's the rule. But I apologize that I look like shit. I've finished work. Yes, I work. This isn't my job. I actually work like a normal person. That's for a different video. But I feel like shit, I'm tired, but we're getting this shit done guys, we're doing it. Because I promised and I've got to do it. Anyway, enough of the chit chat, let's get to it and let's answer the first question. So, first question is... We've got Colton Thomas, my dog's barking, he's being a fucking idiot, apologies if you can hear him. If you could have any power in the universe, what would it be? Probably teleporting, just straight out of there teleporting i think just because i think i don't know well if you could teleport with people that would be awesome teleporting by yourself that's 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 just a fucking that's awesome in itself but i wouldn't want like to be invincible i wouldn't want like super strength you know can't die you know powers like fucking x-ray vision flying apologies of the birth there's loads that you can choose from let's be honest i would just simply want teleporting just because i could be like to wake up today bam let's go you could rob banks, just saying. Teleport into a vault, stick a load in your bag, teleport back to your house. Job done. <laughs> Question number two. What would you do with 24 hours left alive? So we have 24 hours left to live, what would we do? Well, any normal person would really try and spend it with their family. I don't know, me personally, I would probably go off on like a big rampage thinking like I could do loads of crazy stuff try and get as much done 24 hours but realistically guys 24 hours left to live you're going to spend with your family and the loved ones closest to you so yeah just spend it with your family and see if you've got pull through because let's be honest 24 hours left to live is going to be shit next question i'm working my way down this is going quite well next question is if you could drive any car down route 68 what would it be now, I've got an actual poster of Route 66, but I haven't got Route 68. So, I know Route 66 is, is like, I think it's more like this. Route 68 is more straight. I'm really not sure I'm not good on my geography, with, especially with America. But, I'm guessing it's a long road. It's probably in, like, the desert, countryside type of shit. We're going for, I would probably say, like, a really sick, kitted out rally car. Like, most people would probably just like something absolute crazy, like, a, I don't know, one of those monster professional racing cars that absolutely cane it. That can get it to like 200 miles per hour, but something with really good suspension, because I'm guessing it's going to be bumpy. If it's like Route 66, it's going to be quite off-roady, kind of sandy. So you don't want to be smashing down in a Bugatti Veyron, or a Lambo, or a Ferrari for that fact. You want something that can take the, take the bounce of the road. And where you can still floor it. So yeah, I would say like, I'm really shit with like those sort of rally names. But like, just one of those really upgraded rally cars, I guess. So there you go. If you weren't a YouTuber, where would you, where would your mindset be? So if I weren't a YouTuber, what would my mindset be? What would I be doing? What would I be thinking about? Well, I don't really like to say I'm a YouTuber. I know in my description on facebook and i think on twitter i probably got i'm a youtuber by work or whatever but that's just like my hobby that's what i do with my fun when i'm like bored or whatever if i want to make a couple of videos a new game comes out i don't know i'll probably just be knuckling down with something else because i don't really like just to sit around and do nothing but some days i do love doing that don't get me wrong i don't know i'll probably have a different hobby like i still go to the gym i go out with my mates i play football now and again I would just simply just probably game it up more, but not worry about recording. Because that also could take away a bit of the fun, is constantly recording videos. Like any YouTuber who uh, takes a break, I respect them fully. But yeah, I'll probably just have a different hobby, in all honesty. Don't know what it would be. I'll probably just go to the gym more. Here we go. 
What would you do if Xbox One or PS4 wasn't invented? Well, if it wasn't invented, you wouldn't really know what to do without it, in all honesty. But, I would probably just stick with the console. You know, if, if Xbox was available, PS4 wasn't there, Sony didn't make nothing. You'd be smashing Xbox when you same with the PlayStation version. But there's going to be something else. There's going to be something else invented, something else to do. That's just plain and simple. Question number six. We're getting through these quite quick. Okay, so question number six. If you could meet any football in the world, who will it be and why? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I can imagine a lot of people right now are shouting out Cristiano Ronaldo. Because I'm a United fan, I would probably... He would be up there. But in all honesty, I would probably like go with Ronaldinho. Someone like that, maybe. Just because I looked up to Ronaldinho hugely when I was growing up between when I was like 8 and like 12. That was like the highlight of his career. He was amazing back then. But yeah, probably someone like Ronaldinho. Uh, Fat Ronaldo, he's good. But once again, like I wasn't really much focused on him. And he kind of distanced off from his career before I really loved football. But yeah, Ronaldinho, man. He is the man. Like, if I want any FIFA Ultimate Team player, any icon, I want Ronaldinho. Straight off the bat. Ronaldinho or Henri. Straight away, mate. But yeah, another one would be Henri. I would love to meet Henri. I think he's a brilliant player. Hands down, brilliant player. Okay, so, next question is... So, this one, right? Marcus J. Evely. That's my brother. So, if anyone doesn't know, that's my brother. Yeah, you know Marcus. I'm shouting you out now. But, favourite brother... Some of you know I've got two brothers. I have a half-brother, which is Marcus, which is my dad. And he's got his different mum. Uh, We've both got different mums, basically. I made that really fucking awkward. Anyway, we've both got different mums, but we've got the same dad. So, I've also got another brother who's actually got the same dad and same mum as me. But yeah, favourite brother. Well, we can't pick and choose now, Marcus, can we, son? But, you know, Mike's, Mike's, Mike's all right. But you're, you know, you're in there, bro. Next question. If you didn't work on YouTube, what would you do as work? Once again, I don't actually work as YouTube. I would love to one day, don't get me wrong. I would fucking love it. I haven't experienced it fully because I still work. And that's why I don't publish so many videos because I can't... I just haven't got the time to constantly make videos. It takes a lot of time, this guy. If I did it full time, you know, it would be awesome. One day, we'll see. We'll see one day. I'm not going to be putting all my eggs in one basket trying to become a massive YouTuber because at the moment, it's for fun. And let's keep it that way. But let's move on next question. So we got, what is your favorite game to record and why? To record, I would probably say Call of Duty. Call of Duty is decent to record. Not so much Battlefield, but I call it because it's longer. But Call of Duty is quick, snappy games. I enjoy them ones. They're good to record. Also, FIFA, you can really have a good... Like, Call of Duty, I feel like I'm more concentrating in... The con my concentration levels are really high playing Call of Duty. Playing FIFA, they're high. But I, like... I talk with the game, and I'll like my reactions better with the game. I'll kick off more with the game. With Call of Duty, I don't know. I just feel like it's a bit of, like, a, a brick wall there. With FIFA, I can really get in. So, I'm definitely going to get more FIFA 18. But I need to try and organise, like, um, the cables and everything. So, my headset can pick up my... Um, my chat that I'm speaking with my mates so I want to record that with uh, Elgato so you guys can listen to the party chat as well because I want to do some pro clubs and I also want to do some pro clubs with you lot and I want you lot to be able to be recorded in the chat so it, it makes the video a little bit more better and not just me speaking next question is how many girlfriends you had I have only had nah I've only had two I've only had two girlfriends, so that's it. What was your favorite GTA game growing up and was you allowed to play it when you were younger? To be honest, my mum didn't really allow me to play a lot of games, but I still did just because I got my room and I'll jump on it. Plus I had an older brother and he bought all the games, so I just played his games when he wasn't there. That's how I basically got in to the gaming not industry, but the game in life, if you would say. But I would say San Andreas, hand down. That was the one. I had a fucking cheat book, like a, like a block of yellow pages, boys and girls. I'm telling you now. And I knew every cheat off by heart as well. I was firing them off, eyes closed. But yeah, 
Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Okay, so I'm just going to make this kid happy now. Kieran, Davey, there you go. I didn't read your name before the question, but here was the GTA question. Kieran, Davey, there you go. Hopefully no one else moans that I didn't say your name. Apologies, but he, he actually asked, so there we go. I don't mind doing stuff like that. So we've got two questions here off Emma. First one is, if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Oh, if I could change one thing in the world, what could it be? Um, honestly... I don't think you could change anything in the world. Like, everything happens for a reason. That's one thing I believe in is everything that happened for a reason in your life. But you just got to learn from it in a way. I would just say, like, if people were just not so, f like, fucked up in a way. Like, you got ISIS and stuff like that. It's just, there's no need in it. There's no need at all. I understand that's going to happen no matter what happens in the world. There's always going to be someone out there that's going to try and do sort of, some sort of terrorism in the world. But that's the way it goes. But yeah, I would just try and like change something like that maybe. Just stop pe people being so judgmental about other people as well. Like it's just no need at all. Just everyone needs to chill out, relax, don't stress and just go with life. So part two of her question is, uh, another one is if you could meet any famous YouTuber who should it be? In my last q and I said, who was my favourite YouTuber? I think I've got another question down there that, that relates to that question. But I would say um, the Syndicate Project. I would love to meet him simply because I watched him the longest out of all the YouTubers I've subscribed to. I've literally watched him since he was like probably 2,000 subscribers, something like that. And I just think, because he's the same age as me roughly, I think he's a year older than me actually. I think he's just turned 24. I just think he's a brilliant YouTuber. He's worked hard, he's grafted, he's done it all by himself. He started his own business. Mate, thumbs up to the kids, you know, smashed it. So yeah, the Syndica Project, Tom, that's the man. Next question is, if you could only have one old console, what would it be? To be honest, I didn't play a lot of old consoles. Like, I would play the PlayStation 2. I played the PlayStation 1 a little bit as well, but the PlayStation 2 was that's when I really grafted a game in. Um, search up a game called SOCOM, S-O-C-O-M. I literally played all them SOCOMs. That was like, I would come home from school. I shit you not. I'd come home from school. I would jump straight on my PlayStation, still in my uniform, headset on, and I used to game till about 10 at night, come off for an hour to eat my tea, jump straight back on. My mum used to kick off the amount of times she used to turn my plugs off about midnight when she used to go to bed and shout to me oh that's a total diff if you want to know all these stories right comment down below if you want to know some of these stories of me growing up with issues with my gaming habits and my parents kicking off oh okay next question is pineapple on pizza discuss i love pineapple on pizza i don't give a fuck what any my language i don't care what anyone says right Pineapple on pizza is banging. In fact, the other night I ordered Domino's pizza. I had, a chi I had chicken, I had pineapple, I had beef, ground beef mince, and I think I had, um, I think I had onions. But yeah, boom, ham and pineapple, just like a nice ham and pineapple pizza. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Okay, so we got a weird question. What is your gender? Because I'm not going to miss any of these out. There's not like a hundred questions here. There's a decent amount to fit in a video. What is your gender? Don't know. So we've got two questions here. Travis at the bottom has asked the question. But um, Kyle Keru Kello, sorry, has also asked the same question. So we're linking them both up. Because Kello's asked two questions. I'm answering both. But yeah, Travis is, can you add mine, please? Who inspired you to YouTube, to do YouTube? And what gave you the determination to stick to naming videos? To stick to naming videos. Not too sure what the name of videos means. Anyway, back to who inspired me to do YouTube. Myself. Myself, really. Like, I did start it, like, four or five years ago properly. Because if you look when my channel was created, it was made in, like, 2010. That's when I really wanted to start doing YouTube. Um, and I bought a thing called a Dazzle. That was shocking. It wasn't, it was, like, 720, not even 720p. It was really bad. It cost me, like, 50 quid. But, yeah, myself, really. I've always wanted to do it. I used to watch when, like, I was 10 years old. I was watching YouTube videos of, like, uh, the Syndica Project, stuff like that, and PewDiePie. I never really sat down and was like, yeah, let's go for it, until I hit about 11, 12 years old. Then I bought my, my Dazzle, and I did it for, like, six months, playing the old Call of Duties, uploading little tiny 40-second clips. I wasn't, like, grafting it, if you know what I mean. Made a couple montages. They got really good. A guy called... 
Yoti Slayer. He, he's unfortunately dead now. Rest in peace. A brilliant YouTuber and lovely guy. Um, he shouted out one of my, my montages. So that made me want to do it even more. Got me like 800 views. I know it's not a lot, but 800 views to me, even now. That's fucking awesome. But yeah, he shouted out my montage. Um, my montage. My montage, sorry. And yeah, he, he made it happen. But me, and plus just seeing what other YouTubers are doing... Like getting a few ideas and stuff like that, that helps you out as well. But yeah, I would probably say I would have to round it up to the syndicate again because he was like doing stuff at the same age as me, riding his bike, stuff like that. I was doing all that. But yeah, um, all them videos, by the way, guys, my montage and stuff like that, they're all gone. I deleted them when I was like, I was like, oh, let's do YouTube again. This was about a year and a half, two years ago. I'm going to delete all my other shit. I deleted it all. And then I thought, why did I delete it all? I could have used that in like future videos. It was a mistake. It's gone. I can't get it back. But yeah, the Syndica project inspired me to do YouTube. There we go. One day I want to meet him. And yeah, be awesome if I could meet him. So we're going to wrap this up here and there. I've enjoyed doing this. And I thank you for writing down your questions, guys. If I haven't answered your question, which I think I've answered them all, I apologize. You may not have seen... Me put the the status up on Facebook to ask for que uh, questions. I might in future make a little 10 second video on here and ask for you to write questions down below so everyone sees it, gets notifications. Because I know Facebook doesn't do that much. But we're going to do it again. This is not the last q and I'm doing. I will do more, 100%. But guys, it has been Sean. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you haven't done it already. And I'll see you... In the next video, peace!